Hi, I'm Juan from JuanTutors.com. Uh, welcome to my Totally Free Office Hours. Today we're working on uh, problem number 27 from the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regents. Uh, if you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregents.org and click on the appropriate tab. So here's, here's this problem. A uh, regular hexagon is rotated counterclockwise in a counterclockwise direction uh, about its center. Determine and state the minimum number of degrees in the rotation such that the hexagon will coincide with itself. Uh, so let's be clear about what they mean by a hexagon coinciding with itself. It means that if you take a hexagon, regular hexagon, okay, and as best as I can draw it, this is horrible, right? But uh, we're spinning it in a counterclockwise direction. Well, if we spin it in a counterclockwise direction, eventually uh, this vertex is going to go here. This one's going to go here. This one's going to go here. And all, all the way around, that's what we're going to go here, this one's going to go here, and then finally this one's going to go right here. Okay? And then the, all the vertices will coincide with itself, uh, so the whole shape will coincide with itself. Uh, how many degrees does it take to do that? Well, uh, let's see. If we divide the hexagon into uh, parts, this is the center of rotation, and we divide it into six parts. We know that the number of times because it can be divided into six congruent parts. We know the number of times you can rotate so that, let's say, vertex A comes back all the way around to itself is six times. So as a result, we can actually rotate it six separate times to get back to uh, point A. So as a result, the number of rotations, the, the, minimum, uh, the minimum number of degrees is uh, 360 degrees divided by, well, we, if we could rotate it six times to get all the way back to A, uh, then that's 360 divided by six is equal to 60 degrees. And that's a perfectly valid two-point solution. Um, if you're wondering how many how many degrees you can rotate a, a shape, uh, an end gun, so the min, min number of degrees a regular and gone can be rotated uh, so that uh, it coincides with itself well, is it for by the same argument that we made here? We can separate the regular n gon into n congruent pieces, so we can actually rotate the regular n gon n times to get each vertex back to its original location. So each ro rotation has to be then 360 degrees uh, divided by n. And that's, uh, that's a theorem that you can remember. They do expect you to know that theorem, so keep it in the back of your mind so that when you're doing multiple choice questions, it's there and available for you. Now, if all you wanted to do is get, this is, but this is by the way, a separate uh, tutorial. If all you wanted to do is get the answer, then definitely hit the next button so you can get problem 28. But we did create an extra problem for you so you could practice it. Um, and here it is. Uh, it's a regular polygon with n sides. is rotated in a counterclockwise direction about its center by an angle of 20 degrees. So now they told us the number of degrees, but they told us it has n sides, which we don't know what n is. And the resulting n gon coincides with itself. Determine and state the minimum number of sides of this polygon. Well, uh, let's think of this example. Let's say uh, to solve a simpler problem, let's uh, suppose that the, the shape was a uh, let's say let's suppose that the shape was a triangle, regular triangle, also known as equilateral triangle. Well, this can be rotated uh, 120 degrees uh, uh, to get back to itself. And if you rotate it three times, you get back to the original shape. A uh, square, also known as a regular quadrilateral, can be rotated four times to get back to itself. Okay, so uh, counterclockwise, so that the, the minimum rotation for this one is 90 degrees. Now, if you notice that 360 divided by 4 is, is 90, but now I'm going to show you another shape that can also be rotated 90 degrees so that it coincides with itself. 
uh, a regular and a regular octagon okay so a uh, regular octagon now this one can be also rotated 90 degrees but that's not the minimum the minimum is 360 divided by 8 okay and so in general we see a pattern uh, each polygon the, the minimum the number of rotations that it can the number of degrees that it can be rotated so that it coincides with itself is exactly uh, 360 divided by the number of size so as a result if it happens to be that 20 is a factor of 360 then all we have to do is solve the equation that 360 divided by n is equal to 20 and hopefully n is an integer if this is the case if not then we try 360 over 2n then, and then 360 over 3n 360 over 4n until we get an integer but um, let's see times n times n so 360 equals 20n uh, and then divide by 20 divide by 20 and we get uh, n is equal to well 360 divided by 20 the three the zeros cancel you get 18 and so n is an integer so this is in fact the minimum number of sides that this polygon can have uh, that's the answer this is this is all the work that's needed okay all this other stuff was to gain some intuition on this problem and I, I highly recommend that you use your note paper to gain some intuition on this problem they don't judge you on the part of the, the work that you gain some intuition so you could do, totally do it on right on that if you don't want to do it right on there you can go to the back there's scrap paper and you can do whatever you want on that scrap paper uh, all right listen keep working at it I know you can do it keep watching these videos because I know they're definitely helpful and uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video starting right now